Well, it's still winter and it's 2.37 and a half p.m. I'm home from class and this was on the porch. I'm assuming this is the uh, light bulb for that light that I ordered uh, last week. So I'm gonna crack that open and see if it works. Okay, simple enough. Quartz halogen, 500 watt. Certainly looks like it. So I'm gonna go get the light and we'll plug it in. All right, old on the right. They're pretty much identical. So uh, I really hope this thing works. Okay, we're plugged in. Bulb is installed. I'm gonna press the button. Boom, 500 watts can instantly feel heat. Awesome, my work light is not dead. Friggin' right. Now starts the errands part of the day. I need to go to the bank. I need to mail this. I feel like there's something else I need to do. I might as well recycle this box that the thing came in. So, back out, back to do more work. Classwork shouldn't be bad today. You know, I already got class done as far as homework goes. There's a practice thing due tomorrow night. That's the next thing on radar. So I'll keep working on that, get this week over with. It's supposed to be, I think, 30 something tomorrow, which is gonna be way better than the teens. It's slowly getting better. That is one of the best upgrades I have ever done with this car. Constant awesome music on one of 220 channels. Now probably 50 of those are sports or Latino, which I'm not so much into the sports or Latino stuff, but you know, it's great. If I get tired of something here, I got my preset set, steering wheel buttons worked alternate between those. It's awesome. Anyway, so I'm headed downtown to ship um, a box to Canada, actually. Uh, when I did the video, the DIY on all the stuff for the car, I mentioned that I'd be willing to sell my old C43 radio. So about three or four days after that, I got an email. Uh, after I published the video live, I got an email from a guy who wanted to buy it. So we uh, arranged a fair price. And, I do have to ship it to Canada, which isn't going to be inexpensive, but um, I think I, I got fair shipping in the deal. So he PayPal'd that to me, that hit this morning, so I'm going to go ship that out now and um, get that out of here. So that was good. I don't want to have that sitting around the house, A, and, uh, and B, you know, if somebody else can use it and I can get some money for it, that's great. So we're going to... We, really? We don't lose XM going under the turnpike there. I just went under the Ohio Turnpike, Route 80. And uh, it's, what, three lanes each direction now, plus a median, and they, they used to be two lanes each direction, and there were there were two bridges. I'm getting lasered from someone. There were two bridges, and then there was a gap in between them. And then when they made the Turnpike three lanes each direction, they just connected the two bridges, so it's one big one now. And I don't even lose XM going through that. I don't get that. The Genesis and every other car I've been in that's ever had Sirius or XM radio, now they're combined. Um, anytime you went under a bridge in a garage and a parking, I'm sure I would lose it on a parking deck, but I'm going to try that. I'm going to be downtown. We'll go through the deck. I guarantee I lose it there. But garages, I don't. Bridges, I don't. The Genesis does. And that's got a shark fin and it's that much newer. And, and there's an F30 with LED hail. It's looking good. Here's a familiar sight. It's not uh, covered in Ferraris right now. In fact, the bricks are pretty much white with salt. I see a C-Class though. That looks nice with the trunk spoiler. C300 formatic. Anyways, I'm gonna make a left here and uh, go through the deck and I predict that our BGs are quickly going to disappear. Nicest car I see down here is probably the C-Class. All right, there's an ML. Let's see what happens. What? N oh yeah, okay, there it goes. I was gonna say, there's no way. I'm in the middle of a parking deck with a friggin' four foot cement ceiling over me. It says acquiring. We're getting closer to the outside though. I'm gonna go back around this way. There's a Subi, or uh, actually that's the Scion version. Uh, there's a CTS Cadillac. I'm gonna keep recording. I don't wanna have to edit this. Uh, Nissan 335i. Okay. Oh, it's coming back. It's gonna come back once we're outside. Deck clears, let's acquire a satellite, and we're back. You know what would be cool? In the Sirius module, they should include just like a um, couple megabyte flash storage um, chip. Just 
10 megs flash storage, 32 megs, where it would uh, buffer the signal. So if you go into a bridge or, or a parking deck or something for just a minute, and this isn't a problem for my system obviously, but other cars that don't seem to have as good a reception, it would be able to uh, to have a, like a 20 second buffer where it would bring it in and store it there and then run it through the car. So if it disappears for a second, then it just rebuffers it afterwards. I, I think that would be a handy little invention there. Maybe they do that, maybe some do, but you can't tell. All right, we're at Chase. Can you see it on the side of the building? You can see my mirror problems, but uh, I'm gonna go in and give them about $40,000 cash, right? All right, uh, Chase is now all the way over there. That was done, there's like five people in line over there, but uh, I gave them my big cash. So now I'm gonna go get rid of this radio and I'll let you know how much it costs to ship something to, I think it's Alberta. Oh look, twenty nine fifty three is the cost to Calgary, Alberta. I had to sign my name like five times, and the declared value, I kind of lowballed that. So uh, maybe that helped me out. I don't know. It's gonna take a week. Apparently, anything over eighteen dollars has to be held at customs for something while they check it out. So that's fun. Um, International shipping is a pain. I, I sold an iPad to somebody in uh, BC once a couple years ago, and I remember it cost me a hundred dollars more to ship it there than I made from it. And I said I would never ship to Canada again. So I, I now have shipped to Canada again. This is my second time, and I kind of just lowball the um, the declared value and don't state it as electronics or anything. So I don't know. It's a pain in the ass. So, okay, it's uh, 3.30, I'm gonna head back now, um, get the emails done for today. I think I've got like 10, and one of them, this guy wrote me like five paragraphs, so I've gotta go through, read that, figure out what the hell he's trying to find out, and see if I can help. All right, on the way in this morning, it said check engine oil level. It was uh, just above the low end of the fill mark, so I put a half quart in, so that'll last a while now. It's been, I don't know, a good while since my last change, so that isn't, that isn't bad. Better than normal consumption, probably due to cold weather and it can't drive like it does when it's uh, dry outside. So I still have like a, a buffer zone of probably two, three, I have three and a half quarts on stock, so I'm in good shape. And I also got myself a snack. It's uh, shortly after 12 p.m. Um, I don't really remember when the last time I filmed was, but after that I came in here and uh, all of this was getting pretty nasty. My monitor was really dusty and everything back there was dusty, so. I uh, cleaned all the furniture in here, I cleaned some drawers out, organized all my crap, and now we've got a nice clean office area here. Got the iPad plugged in, charging. Um, Roz came over, we watched some old vlogs from summer, those were a lot of fun. Uh, back going to the pool, and everything looks so different compared to now. It's negative four degrees outside currently. I think tomorrow's supposed to get, Wednesday, tomorrow's supposed to be one of our warmer days and then we hopefully get out of this trend of negatives at night back up into the uh, 20s and 30s. Better than what we've had. Um, 12.20, not really tired yet. Um, got a couple of emails, really long ones. Perspective E39 and 5 buyers have found me and asked questions and I like that, but it's a lot of work to uh, to keep all of that up. Oh crap. Look at these icicles out here. Can you see that? That's like a two foot icicle hanging off the soffit for this bay window, Jeez. Well, I hope those start melting soon. We've probably got between 12 and 18 inches of snow in the middle of the yard where nothing's been stacked on it from the snow blower or a shovel. But down at the corner of the driveway and the street, oh geez, I bet there's three feet. That's gonna be there for a while. And then you go to a parking lot somewhere you find where the find where the plows have uh, plowed off big areas. There's like 10 feet of snow. It's going to be there for quite a while. Um, but on the 10 day, day number 10 is supposed to be 48, and according to AccuWeather, it's supposed to be 51. If we get near 50, we'll lose like an inch. Oh, it's fun. It's exciting. That's it, though. I'm going to do those emails, relax a little bit, and then go to bed. Tomorrow's just one class, um, business class. The other one. Why don't I have the other one? Oh yeah, the other one I don't have because he doesn't do Wednesdays, he only does Mondays. He calls it a hybrid class. And then the third one uh, is a PowerPoint online, so I'm gonna do that. But tomorrow will be fairly easy, two classes Thursday, one assignment due Thursday. I've got the brunt of the work uh, definitely done this week, so tomorrow we'll hit that class. 
then I need to stop in at the AT&T store. We're actually putting my dad's phone on the plan that my grandparents and I are on so he can pay $15 a month versus uh, like 150 a month. It'll, be, it'll make a lot more sense financially to do that. Other thing, last Saturday, I don't know if I talked about it, uh, but I went online, I logged into all of our stuff. The internet here at the house, our AT&T cell plan, uh, my grandfather's U-verse, and I did some updates. You know, as these companies, Time Warner, AT&T, whatever, as time moves on, they change their data plans and then they change the prices associated with that. For example, two years ago, we had a seven meg, probably five years ago, we had a seven megabyte downstream plan with like 1.5 megabits upstream, and we were paying, I don't know, $50, let's say that a month. Well, they changed it. They made it 30 megs down and 2.5 or three up or something, and it was the same price. They just never told us about it. So we're paying the same price for a third the service. This time we had 30 down, five up. You can now get that same deal for 50 down, five up. So that's the best internet available in Ohio right now. 50 megabytes down, I'm actually pulling about 56 and five up. We don't get any better than five up here. AT&T through your phone is like 10 up. It's faster over LTE, but yeah, typical Ohio. Uh, so now we have 50 down and five up and our cell plan, we now have 10 gigabytes of shared data per month for the same price that, actually $25 less than we were paying for four gigabytes. So twice, two and a half times the amount of space or usage that we're allowed for less money. So log into your stuff. Look at the new AT&T plan. They're a lot cheaper and see if you can get more storage. That's it, 12.24, I'm going to bed.